we continue to give you some frequently asked questions on different motoring concerns. Last week, we have spotlighted vehicle registration, its classifications and fees. This week, we will talk about the renewal and change of vehicle registration. LTO Law Enforcement Service Director Francis Almora is with us again to give insights about this matter. We will tackle the renewal of vehicle registration first. The certificate of registration issued by the LTO upon completing the requirements is valid only for three years. After that, it has to be renewed. There are factors that need to be considered by the LTO before granting your renewal request. What are these factors and additional requirements? For renewal, there are just uh, two requirements. That is the roadworthiness inspection and of course the insurance. So when you renew a motor vehicle, it has passed through the, the roadworthiness inspection. The roadworthiness inspection actually includes the emission test. And ngayon po kasi dahil wala po tayong automated na motor vehicle inspection centers, ang nangyari dyan, parang visual, visual inspection. So we cannot really test yung under chassis niya. Uh, 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 the prescribed uh, roadworthiness inspection is supposed to be a, at least 50 points inspection. So there are supposed to be 50 points in the motor vehicle that you inspect. We are doing that now, but then it's just on a visual, visual uh, uh, way, hindi yung automated. Because if automated with the help of machines and uh, sensors, na, na talagang na ensure natin na roadworthy yung isang sakyan. Director Almora also explained that the LTO now requires an emission test at least one year before renewal as there have been anomalies regarding smoke belching units and others that have violated some rules but have been renewed. Emission tests are usually done in private emission test centers. Now changes are inevitable and so if your motor vehicle is registered in the LTO and you have changes in your certificate of registration Here's what you have to do, according to Director Almora. Uh, pag yung uh, change ng CR, it is it follows na may change of classification. Let's say from private into poor higher, yun nakakaroon ng new CR. From CRE, kasi may CRE tayo, yung CRE, Certificate of uh, Registration Encumbered. Ito yung mga under financing, Dapat yan pagka yung mga financing companies, pagka inirehistro nila yung unit, sinasabi nila na ito ay encumbered. So, ibang process nung may encumbrance. May ibang proseso na kasi nire-register yung encumbrance, yung ano nila. So, ang binibigay sa kanila ay CRE. Pagka natapos yung ano na tanggal na yung encumbrance, mag-re-request sila for issuance of a CR. So, pagdating ng CR lang, ibig sabihin na wala na encumbrance. According to Director Almora, the LTO uses a database that transfer information to the other. That's why it's important to let the LTO know immediately if there have been any changes to your records and certificate of registration. And that was LTO Director Francis Almora explaining the process on how to renew and change the registration of your vehicle here on Modern Today's Modern Forum, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.